learning to work with layers in Canva can really help you to arrange text images and shapes on top of each other one by one and this keeps things organized and lets you edit or move one element without affecting the other so it's so helpful to learn how to use layers in canva welcome to my YouTube channel and make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet for more tutorials and now let's jump right into this video and what you have to do now we have here a lot of layers here and elements and where we can see if we have a lot of layers is let's say i right click on this and here i can see layer i can send this layer back or i can now i can't select it so i can right click can layer and here I can select show layers or alt plus one. And I can see here all the layers here that are on this page. Now I can go to the other page here and it shows me all the layers that are in this page, that are on this page. Now I can see all the layers that are on this page. And here there's tons of layers. So now let's say i want to select this this uh, color this uh, element and i can't select it because it's behind an object so i can click on here and drag it from here from this layer and now i can bring it forward now you can also let's say i can't select the one behind it you don't want to go to these layers maybe you have here other like this edit and you don't want to go back well you can go right click here and select here you don't want to use this you want to select the other one send to back you know or you can use the shortcut control plus open bracket you can see all the shortcuts you can bring something in front or send the back or bring for very 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 fast you see here all the shortcuts control plus you see here all the shortcuts but if you only want to select that object and is behind and you don't want to you know send this element behind back and forth you know to send that element uh, that element um, backward or bring it in from the front and you don't you don't have to you know move that object yeah it's still i think it's a still better idea to to use the layers here to common layers because you can just move the layers bring it in front and um, that's how you work with layers in canva here you can see all your layers here you can uh, see the layer this white layer you can of course change its color go to gradient and add a gradient yeah very easy uh, add a gradient here and now we added a gradient we have a gradient and we can see here all all we can also click on position here and we can check here all the layers instead of right clicking and checking and, uh, and clicking on layers so now we have all the layers here but what if you want to click on this and then click on delete well if you click on the three dots here you can copy you can copy style you can paste delete show timing or comment or lock background you can lock this background if you don't want to select it by mistake you can uh you can lock it all right now other settings here are related to alternative text lock link you can link this this circle so if people click on this this will send them to the other document so this will send them actually to page two so done now you know you present this and you have this in full screen and now if i click on this if i click on this okay yes yeah, so 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 you have now you have um, a link added to this one you can add like this done enter a link or a search so we can enter which one you want or we can remove this link so i hope you found this video helpful thanks for watching and if you have more questions about canva let me know in the comment section